Hello, I'm hoping where I've got this balance works. <laughs> so, welcome back. I am making a quick project today. I'm going to make a card and I'm going to be using Vicky Booting Colour Study and doing a wax seal. So, I was going to do this directly onto the elements of the card. I'm going to make an element using a Polaroid frame as the base. Uh, oh gosh, and I've got to rip it. It's all right. You're not going to see that bit when it's <laughs> all put together. Um, so I'm, there's loads of, you know, dyes out there. Sarah's got dyes in Halo and Magpie for Polaroid frames. So do have a look. Um, probably shouldn't have used this this roller because I'm just gonna break everything. <laughs> Oops. Um, so I put, pulled out some elements from Colors Today, and using them to build my base. So I've got there a circle, a piece of ephemera and some flowers. And then what I'm going to do is I've got four colours from Heading the Clouds. I've got the purple, the yellow and the blue. And I've got the sparkly blue uh, from the Heading the Clouds waxes. And I thought I was actually, um, with this, going to stamp directly onto the embellishments. So we'll do that and then I was going to add a sentiment which I forgot. I was going to do that into the wet wax and I can't remember which one I was going to use. Hello my friend, that's what I was going to use. See if this is still wet enough at the side. No, okay so it's going to get stuck on top. The idea was I was going to stick that in the side as well um, but I've left it too late because I couldn't remember what I was using. I'll just clean that up a bit. So whilst that's setting, we're going to do the card base. So for the base, I've got um, A6 card, basically cut an A4 piece of card in half along the short edge and then scored it. So it's, um, 14.8 centimetres by 10 and a half centimetres. I'm then using Vicky Booting Colour Study. I'm using the branding strips or scraps of papers that I cut to the same width as the branding strips, a half inch. Um, just out of my scraps bag from this collection. And I'm not, I'm purposefully not going all the way to the end of the card. I want that white strip at the end. And then let's see if this is set yet, which it is. So then we've got this embellishment with the wax um, seal holding it all together. And I'm going to put that on 3D foam here. So I thought I'd do it on 3D foam, give it a bit of separation from all the colours going on in the background. Lifts it up a little bit. So we're going to pop that there up on the 3D foam pads. So we could go with hello friend coming out the bit there where I've not got any wax or the other one I was thinking was shine bright it's kind of like a good luck card we're going to go shine bright because I like that contrast against all the colours on the background so I keep all my branding strips from especially American Crafts because there's always useful patterns on them and this was just one of a few ideas for using them and for getting the wax seals out so this embellishment cluster would work on a scrapbook layout as well uh, you could do it on in your journals in your planners so it's just an 
idea for a way to use your waxes. Um, encourage you to get your waxes out. There we go. And that's today's project with your waxes. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, like the video because interactions really help the good old algorithm. And don't forget to stop by to see projects by other members of the design team. Have a great day. Bye-bye.